think he's wrong. I think he's Walmart security. He, you know, he over here pretending to be on the phone and shit. No, nah, like that. Yeah, I see you. Ain't no mystery. Yeah, you're right. Ain't no mystery. Uh, what's good with you, though? What's good with you? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. What's good with you, Scooby Doo? Ain't nothing. And you look like a Scooby Doo, fat motherfucker. Nice that in this bitch, always rolling. Cause you'll never know what you catch. You'll never know what you what, what you catch. You know what I'm saying? What's up, guys? What's going on? Lockout men out here in the weather. Yo, I am on my way to Virginia with this Virginia load right here. I won't be there. I'm, I'm supposed to be there tomorrow which is Sunday, but of course, the weather is changing. It's about to get ugly later on tonight. The storm is coming through and it's gonna slow everything down. They already shut down the state of Pennsylvania. You hear me? The state of Pennsylvania is shut down to all commercial vehicles on the interstate. I decided to come over here to this Walmart right here up in Indiana on 30, I think, I'm not sure. But I decided to stop up in there to do a little bit of shopping. I don't want trust stop food. I really don't. And besides, I'm not even sure what trust stop I'm gonna be posting up at, you know what I'm saying? It probably might be a mom and pops because it's not that many trust stops along 30. You know, I know there's a Flying J, a Pilot, and uh, a loves, but they're far and few in between. So I decided to stop at this Walmart to grab something to eat, but check it out, y'all. So while I go in here, I'm gonna do this poll question for these ladies. This is for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm a truck driver, and we got this label upon us that you ladies don't wanna date us because you know, for whatever reason. But why not though? Why not? Today poll question is, would you consider dating a truck driver? Would you consider dating a truck driver? And if so, why wouldn't you consider dating a truck driver? What would be the reason? I mean, you know, we, we need love too. We need love, you know what I'm saying? But hey, this special edition also. So I was in there you know, doing my poll questions. And all of a sudden, I see in my peripheral, I see this dude walking up and down the, the, the side aisle. You know what I'm saying? And I just happened to notice him. And I was like, huh, it's funny. And by the way, this episode right here features my man Carlos. So give a shout out to my man Carlos. You know what I'm saying? But check it out though, check it out though. So I'm walking, you know, walking down the aisle. Actually, I'm on my way out. So I, I pretty much done answer, asking my questions and you know, got a few answers. So the video might be short. It might be short. But anyway, I happen to notice him. So he turns around and you know, I, I'm looking at him and I'm talking to Carlos on the phone. And I'm looking at him and I'm going like, you know, Carlos, man, you know, I'm I'm getting the feeling that this dude is following me throughout the store. I can't let him get you like that, no. Oh my God. He's, he said that's you said that's R. Kelly time. That's R. Kelly time right there, man. Oh my God. <laughs> You say you say R you say R Kelly time. <laughs> All right, yeah, I guess uh, I guess uh, I guess we I guess we can't. Uh, I guess we can't uh, ask that question. 
I, I yeah. think I think this fat dude is following me for some reason. Um, you don't think he went um, on a lunch date, did he? Nah, I, I I think he's a Walmart security though. You know, he's yeah, just, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he's yeah. Walmart, I think he's Walmart security. He, you know, he over here pretending to be on the phone and shit. Right. Nah, like that. Yeah, I see you. Ain't no mystery. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Ain't no mystery. Uh, what's good with you though? What's good with you? Good ain't with you. ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing, and you look like a Scooby Doo, fat motherfucker. <laughs> calling what? somebody a Scooby. Ain't no mystery. Hey, or you're calling somebody a Scooby Doo, fat bitch. And he was like, "What? You know what? What? What we? What we doing? Racial profiling? You know what I'm saying?" I said. I'm, I'm looking at this dude like, yeah, I'm thinking so. Without further ado, you know what I'm saying? Because this intro is made after I did the video. So check out the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell on the way out the door. I'm a, I'm a trucker on YouTube. Here's my card. I got a, I got a question for you. How old are you? 19. All right, so you, you old enough to date. So let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this. Will you ever date a truck driver? Yeah. Yeah, so they make, they make money back then. Oh, okay, but wait, wait, hold up now, hold up now. See, see, you, 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 you said the right thing. I was feeling you. Hold on right quick. <laughs> I was feeling you when you said the right thing, but you you threw money into the mix. I did. I married one. Oh, you married one. There you go. Okay. Left it now. Because you can't job. So, I mean, what a job got to do with it? Right. Honestly, I got a, you know, job where I'm like, hey, would you date somebody at Target? I mean, I don't know. They make me say nothing. Right. You can't job. I'm supposed to make money. Uh-huh. Would you ever consider dating a truck driver? Oh, I'm sorry. No. I'm a lesbian. Oh, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, a female, uh, okay, well, there's, there's female truck drivers. I couldn't. Oh, uh, you couldn't, you couldn't do that? So that's not, I ain't got nothing against them, but. Oh, no, 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 there's I, actually. I'm married, so. Okay. Right, but, you, but you, I said, would you ever date a truck driver? Yeah, though? I would. Okay, but you wouldn't date them just sore for the money, though. Yeah. Oh, okay, I just want to make sure now. It, oh, God damn it, man. Well, we don't need to go into detail on that. No, we don't. <laughs> would, you ever, would you ever date another one? Well, actually, I dated two. Okay. Two so far. Um, maybe. I don't know. It depends. I don't know. You, you... <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are you on the fence? <laughs> why what? Why are you on the fence? Y'all hold. Oh, whoa, wait, wait now, hold on. Oh, hold on now. Not not all of us is hoes now. Yeah. Not all of us is hoes now. There is some good truck drivers like that out there, like myself. How you doing? Yeah, I say that. They all say that. <laughs> uh, I have a woman in each state. God damn it, man. You sound like ludicrous. We got a we, we got holes in every area code. That's what you say? Yeah, I'm telling I'm serious. <laughs> Yeah, my man, my man said, my man say, don't believe the hype. <laughs> oh, he was 50, so he was old. Oh, God damn it, man. Old hoes. Old hoes. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 I don't really want to date anybody, so. Okay, well, I mean, I, you know, I'm just saying if a truck driver comes your way and like, Maybe, you know, all right. I got a quick question for you, man. Female, female truck drivers. Would you ever consider dating one? So you wouldn't. So you wouldn't think nothing different, like how the females think of the male drivers. You wouldn't think oh, of them as. Yeah. Uh, you know about driving one? Who? You. I think my husband would have an issue with it. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to run across him and see what he say. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Dating a female truck driver. Oh, you would, so you would think the same thing on that? 
that they got, you know, that they got dudes all over the world. We ever considered dating a truck driver? Are you dating a truck driver? Okay, we got we got one. We got. <laughs> well, not now because I'm, I'm already in a relationship. All right, but what if you wasn't in a relationship? I guess it depends. Though. All right. How serious are you committed to the relationship? Or not? Hold on. What you what you want to say? What you want to say? Oh, I guess you I, I guess you tongue tied too, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm shocked. <laughs> so, hey, the truck is making a comeback. We making a comeback, driver. You say, you say, we making a comeback. That's right. That's right. Truck drivers gonna get it in now. You know. We gotta, hey, we gotta change the name of our game. I, 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 I. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. all of them. Got girls in the area code. No, baby. Because that's you know. either a lot of trust. Well, yeah, you, yeah, definitely a lot of trust. Definitely a lot of trust. Or either an open relationship. That is going to be either or. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. I got a question. Okay. Are you willing to understand that a truck driver is not going to be home on a daily basis? You know, a lot of people. Yeah, I understand that, which is why I say a lot of trust or either open relationship. How old are y'all? 22. 26? 22. 22. Okay, okay. I got a quick question for you guys. All right, that's my car right there. And that's my car right there. All right, I am. I'm about to keep it 100. All right, so my question is, are y'all willing to date a truck driver? Date a truck driver. Are you willing to date a truck driver? Yeah. All right, would you ever consider dating a truck driver? Yeah, I have dated one. Oh, okay. I have kids by one. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, a persona of every truck driver is promiscuous over the road. So, how do you feel being in a relationship with a truck driver? Can you trust him? Um, or do you have to put him on lock and key? Where you at? What's your okay. man? Let me get your uh, text message. Like, how do you feel about being in a. I'm beginning to feel some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? So, as I'm. You know, as me and Carlos asking this young lady, you know, the question, the dude comes off the cut. Now these, I don't know, is he a security guard or whatever, but these dudes is like, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But if you notice the chick that I was talking to, notice and she gave that dude the serious mean mug. I mean, like, in her head, she's going like, the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. Let's let's continue on with the video. A good sounding relationship with a truck driver over the road versus your man being with you every day. I feel like the jobs don't really matter. It's the person that you have right. to trust. It's not even the job. It's the person that you got to trust. And if your insecurities is that bad, then baby, you don't need a man. Uh, I, I like it. Okay. I, I like this it's one. It's all about the person. Hey, hey, it ain't wait, about wait, your wait, job. <laughs> Would you ever consider, I got my man Carlos on the phone as well. Would you ever consider you dating doing? a truck driver? No. Why? I got a husband. Will you guys ever consider dating a truck driver? Why? Definitely not. Why? Why? She on the road too much. All right, now she, now, now you got a valid. That's that's my reason there. Like no way. I'm not a picky person, so it depends on how the person treats me. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I like that. I like that answer right there. So him being okay. All right, here. Being on the road weeks at a time is is a, is a deal breaker. Yeah. She said yeah. somewhere extreme where like you know they're they're out for months at a time is it different all depends on if you're married okay okay uh, she shot she shot the mm, you good she shot the married so you so so you feel that if 
if you was married. It's, it's too much freedom mm -hmm. on both ends. Oh, okay, freedom. okay. Yeah. What? Would you consider dating a truck driver? Uh, probably not. Why? Because then I'm there. I don't know. Oh, okay. What? Well, she she says she says they're not there, right? Yeah. So you you think of holding down a relationship with a truck driver, being that he's over the road for months at a time, would be hard on you? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, okay. We can't we can't ask her. She's this thing. So, yeah, she's out of the oh, equation. Yeah, yeah. That's our kid of time right there. Yeah. Our kid, <laughs> why you say that? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why you yeah. say? Oh my God! He's, he said that's you said that's R. Kelly time. <laughs> oh, this this right here. Let me let me tell you about how I got this card right here. This card right here. So I'm rolling up in the in the Walmart parking lot and I see this guy in the red truck taking pictures of a of another truck. So I go, I'm, I'm scratching my head as I roll up in there and I'm looking at the dude like, why? Why is he taking the picture? So he, he just happened to caught me as I go past. He was like, hold up, hold up. Uh, he's like, hold up right quick. You you wondering why? I was like, well, I mean, I was saying, though, that, you know, it's a lot of trucks in this parking lot. And I thought you was like Walmart security or, you know, the booter. You know, you was taking pictures because you put a boot on the truck. He was like, no, 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 I, no, I ain't do that. I'm, no, no. He said, no, I don't, I don't do that booting thing. So I, I don't think you have to worry about that because it was about 15, 16 trucks in the parking lot anyway. So I think we was good to go there. So he was like, no, no, no. This is uh, my guy's truck right here. I'm about to get ready to get up into the into the trucking game. So I was like, oh, OK. And the truck that he was taking the picture of was one of his friend's trucks. And he's going to, you know, he got the information off the, you know, how the trucks have their information on the side. You know, like JNR Swoogle has theirs on their door. So, he, you know, we, we do the picture thing now. You know, we take a picture and we just go back. So he was like, no, I'm not like that. He was like, I'm actually a pest solutions guy. So the name, the name of his company is phenomenal pest solution and service all right his name is daryl johnson and you can get at him at 219 7 i'm sorry 219-472-9110 that's 219-472-9110 uh his website is Phenomenals Pets I told y'all I was going to shout you out on my video man Here it is I told y'all I was going to do it I'm a man of my word So if anybody live in the Indiana area And y'all got pest problems Give this man a call Thank you for watching the video I really do appreciate it Hook a brother up with some coffee y'all Alright Hook a brother up for some coffee both the link is in the description and in the comments below, as well as the Cash App. Y'all can y'all can Cash App me too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all send me a dollar. If each one of y'all send me, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Send me some coffee, man. Hook a brother up. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, hit that bell on the way out the door. Lockout men. One time. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I'm gone, I ain't coming back And you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back oh, Ain't no sunshine